Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alana if you're new here and I post videos every Sunday. I also have an Instagram, at LannyBFit, where I post fitness, health, and lifestyle type content. I was inspired by Kalani to post a video that was kind of like a sit down video in a car. Also, killer lighting. Don't mind me, super chill. Also, no sound distractions. I'm currently sitting in my hair salon's parking lot. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys an update on my fitness and health I'm just kind of standing at. So I have been doing low FODMAP since mid-July when I had my bloating issues and severe stomach bloating pain. I have passed the restriction phase and I'm now in the challenge phase and I've been doing that since the end of August. It does take a long time, but I've been working with my dietitian to help me with that. I've also recently started working with Jess on her Burnout to Balance program. It works with macros and weightlifting as well as cardio and it's a great program. I'll tag her Instagram down below and here. If you're interested, she's really great, has a daughter. There's a guy walking, that's really awkward. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really liking that. I felt kind of like in a rut with my workouts. I wasn't really sure what to do next. I felt that I was kind of like stuck with my terms of my progress and getting stronger. So I thought working with a coach would be really good, personal trainer, because as of this point, I haven't worked with anyone. I've been all self-taught in terms of weightlifting and all that. Even though I've been following programs, it was self-taught. Like no one was there telling me like what to do or giving me guidance. So working with a personal trainer, I think will definitely help me see the results that I want to see and feel them as well. My clothes have been feeling a bit tighter. I've been feeling a little bit insecure. I know the number on the scale doesn't define me. I keep telling myself, I know that's really hard to process sometimes, but the number has gone up. My clothes have gone tighter. I haven't felt the leanest or the most confident in my own skin. Sorry, this car got really close to me. So I thought that maybe working with someone and being a bit more aware of what I'm eating and being more even with getting protein, carbs, and fat because I know I am reluctant with my carbs. I don't get enough complex carbs at each meal and having a nice balanced meal. So working with a trainer to help encourage me to do so and having my dietitian tell me to do so will hopefully get me into a better habit of that and I can say I'm getting better at filling half my plate with vegetables, a quarter with protein, and a quarter with carbs. So that's where I am with that. I actually am starting to see a therapist. I was very stubborn with going to see one. I'm not really one to talk about my feelings a lot to other people, to ask for help. I'm very stubborn like that. But my dietitian and my mom are both strongly encouraging me to do so, especially with my anxiety being really heightened right now with exams and being overwhelmed and just feeling a bit insecure about my weight and everything that's going on. I think it would be good for me. I don't know. I still don't really know how I feel about it, but I feel like it should be something that I do. Ellie from Shouldn't Talk talks about how she goes to therapy every week and she's this confident little individual and I think if she can do it I can do it too. The health is just as important as your physical health so if you do feel similar to me I think everyone should see a therapist. I think it would be beneficial for everyone. The same way you see a doctor for your body you should see someone for your mind. That's where I'm at with my health and fitness journey. If you guys want to know any more questions don't hesitate to let me know down below. Also, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not vegan. I haven't really announced this, kind of. I don't want to really put a label on my diet because I feel like that's very restrictive on my mind in terms of what I can eat, but I'm eating mostly fish and eggs as my animal proteins. I've been having chicken a bit more lately for the first time since March. It's not my favorite, but I am trying to have it a bit more to get more protein in my diet and iron since I am low on iron. I am still dairy free and I'm still doing a low FODMAP. I'm trying to stay away from wheat so it's different than gluten. Similar but different. And so that's what's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It really helps support my channel and hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Definitely comment down below any requests you have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Love ya.
Whoops. Bye guys.